Let's look at a couple of comprehensive play options. Now the Horseman, at its core, as you know, it's a don't pass bet with three combats. Look at how we can alter the way that we approach that. You can take your don't pass bet and play it as its own thing. Here, you could run the offensive line where you're laddering up and parlaying the losses and you're progressing the wins with some sort of a bet progression type of strategy and take the combats and instead of playing them flat straight bets, play a three point Johnny or a three point Molly where you're placing odds after you've got them all set, cycling your winnings back through the come and keeping those combats kind of in constant motion. That's one way to combine two strategies into the core of the horseman where the setup is essentially the same. Another option that you've got is to do something like the basic horseman, but on the don't pass, maybe do a regression up and pull where you start with three units, take the win, regress to two units, and then go up and down, up and down each time as you win. And your come bets can be played as a come ladder where your each come bet is progressively larger in size as you go. Again, no odds on that one, but again, mixing and matching the ways you know how to play the don't pass, mixing and matching the come bets with ways you know how to play come bets and combining those into a strategy that gives you stronger play on the seven and stronger plays on longer rolls in the box. Very interesting ways to take the horseman from its base to something really strategic and aggressive. Let's go look at a couple of those options out there on the table. One of my favorite ways to play the horseman is to combine two strategies that work really well within the horseman. Because we're playing three combats and a don't pass. I have a strategy called the offensive line, which really works hard on power pressing on the don't pass. I have a strategy called the three point Johnny, which works really well by using odds on three combats. So I think it makes good sense to combine those two strategies as how we play the horseman. I'll link to both of those in, in the description, of course, as well as giving you an in video link at the end. The way this pipes out on my rack is this. We're gonna have our standard $25 don't pass plus three $10 sized combats. I have an additional quarter that I'm holding by as a power press on the don't should we get to a good position, okay? I've got an additional $120 set aside for odds on those come bets should they get set. We'll put that over here in our rack. And the way this is plays out is this. We're gonna take our initial don't pass. Let's assume for the sake of this demonstration that this pays. Let's say it pays on the come out. We get a three. Pays one to one, which is amazing. We'll stack that up. I'm gonna take one from my rack and power press it. We're gonna have a three unit bet now. Again, this is the offensive line doing a one size bet, a three size bet, a two size bet, and a four size bet on the don't pass. So we're at level two, which is a three size bet, power pressing from the rack. That's gonna be our first aggressive play down here. Now, the come bets come through, and we're in great shape, right? If the seven comes here, we win 10 plus 75, you're $85 up, that's amazing. Let's say it goes to the nine now. Our second come bet comes through. Here again. If the seven comes, you'd lose 10, you'd win 10. Those cancel out. Your net win is 75 bucks. Also, great, let's say that goes to the 10. Our third bet comes, come bet comes through. And again, on the seven here, you'd lose 20, you'd win 85. Your net would be 65 on a seven. Very, very strong in this spot, but let's say it goes to the eight. Now you've got three come bets set plus your 75. The seven comes at this exact moment. You win 75, you lose 30. You're up 45 bucks, that's great. But we're here to be aggressive. We've got money set aside in our rack for the purpose of being aggressive. And the way the three point Johnny works is we take max odds always on the six and the eight. So 50 on top of 10. On the nine and the five, we'll take two X odds, 20. Instead of taking all four, we're gonna take two X odds on the five and the nine. And on the four and the 10, we'll take single odds. I'm gonna turn a quarter in to get some nickels. We're gonna drop single odds on the 10 and bring the rest of this back to our rack. All right, so in this situation, what we're gonna have to do is work these bets and hopefully replenish our rack from where we started and get ourselves back healthy with some profit. Let's assume the best possible case and I'll show you how this thing can play out. Let's say the 10 were to roll. The way the 10 gets paid is one to one on the flat bet and 20 bucks on the odds bet. So. I'm gonna bring that back to my rack, all of it. And we're gonna start setting our rack back up so it looks like it did when we started. And I will be coloring these up as we go to give you a good visual on that. But here it goes, the one, two, three come bets are there. 
in our rack, plus 20 bucks. As you recall, we started out with 120 over here on the right hand side. There's 20 bucks. I'll put the 15 over here just to kind of keep them, keep them visible for you. And there they are. Let's say the nine gets paid. The nine comes down and gets paid. We roll a nine. That's great. We're going to get paid 10 for the flat and the, and the 20 on the back gets paid 30 bucks. I'm going to take these nickels here and pay them as a quarter just to make the rack look pretty. And that's how this comes back. Now, how we set the rack back up is this, these two quarters, I put them back in the front where we started. So our rack now looks like the two bets from the don't plus our three come bets. And we're starting to make headway over here in rebuilding the $120 that we had, okay? If I were to take these and turn them into a green chip, you'll see that over here we have 70 bucks towards our 120 on that side. If the eight comes down and gets paid, that's a fantastic payment. We get paid $10 on the flat bet and we get paid 60 bucks for those massive amount of odds that we had. That's a fantastic payment. What happens here? I'll put 50 bucks in the back of the initial stack. Now the front of our rack is right. There's the 50 bucks we started with for the don't. There's our three $10 combats. There's the 120 that we had for our odds. And what's coming back to the rack now is profit. I'll make those reds look like a green chip. I'm going to bring back three greens and three reds as our first layer of profit from these bets up here. That's fantastic. If the don't pass comes through and gets paid like it should, the seven comes next, that earns you three chips. That's a great win. We're going to reduce that bet to two. This progression is one, three, two, four. Now we go back to two bets and look at this, our rack now, 175 in profit. Actually, it's 190 in profit. That's awesome. Plus, we still have two bets out here in the don't. We can take these and start replaying. We'll get a new point established. We'll start replaying our come bets as we go. And again, our rack is reset to play the same thing again with profit laid out. We're in a great position right now. And I, I think that's a really fun way to attack a table with the horseman that's beyond the simple one, two, three, four bets. It's taking those four bets and doing something more powerful with them when the table uh, conditions present themselves. That's a great way for me to play it. I think that's super fun. And I find that um, when I hit the right rhythm on that, insanely profitable. There you go. That's the horseman using the offensive line and the three-point Johnny as its plays on the numbers.